Hey, welcome back to Metropol Grin. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, this is game two. <laughs> oh, that last game went pretty well. Um, this is game two of... Uh, oh, oh, mind mapping. Oh, that's interesting. So there's going to be net damage in here. So we have to trust with Deus Ex. This is game two of our Severnius Combonius deck. Uh, thanks, Dean, for this idea. Uh, so this hand's okay. We can hostage for Theophilus, like, right off the bat. That'll put us down to uh, two hand size if we click for credits. So, not ideal, um, because we want all these cards, so I guess we have to mulligan that. Oh, that's a bunch better, huh? That's actually really good. We get this down, the next turn we hostage, the Magnum Magnum, golden. Um, so you might have seen the first game, that went really well. Uh, just for what it's worth, we did dig into R&D after that, like, we just wanted to see what 11 card dig with R&D is. We got three agenda points, uh, not great. So this is the sort of deck that might actually be a bit rushy, it's also the kind of deck that's probably running Caprice and Marcus Batty, so our Councilman's gonna do work. Uh, for that reason, I think all I want to do is Magnum up, Theophilus Bagbiter, and then we're probably good to go. Uh, we could spend a click putting Leprechaun down. Um, no, man, this puts us a one credit. Nah, nope, not going to do that. Um, so the idea with the, with this deck is have Theophilus Bagbiter out, so your hand size is as much as money as you have. Have a lot of money, draw your entire deck with game day, and then run with uh the Severnius Stim Implant, Severnius Stim Implant, that's what it's called, and acts as about 15 cards or so. Now this matchup is going to be tricky because they are running net damage and we choose to throw out our whole hand to access R&D, we're going to use our Deus Exes and it's very easy for that to be lethal. Uh, so that's kind of an issue, so I don't think this is a good matchup. This deck, by the way, is like super one-dimensional as a combo deck. I don't generally endorse combo decks. Uh, oh yeah, actually no, Magnuming this was a waste. Yeah, there's no point doing that. So we're going to put this down because we're going to lose all our money. In fact, so this will put us down to zero credits, and then we need a Magnum twice. Yeah, that's probably worth it. So let's get the wacky train online. Install, yep. So we have no money, and now we have four hand size. So until we find our game days, until we find our, uh, uh, what's it called, piece in our time, we're going to want to draw a bit between our turns. So we're going to pepper our turns with drawing and Magnuming just to keep our hand size up. Uh, luckily, we're going to use these uh, Leprechauns and Self-Modifying modifying Codes for Hyperdriver just to like help us uh, set up. We don't actually need them for like the power turn, uh, so we'll see. They're, we're not going to run, right? And besides Bioethics, they have no real way to um, hit us with net damage, um, besides Bioethics, I guess, and now that's influence. So they might not even be running it. Uh, if we ever have something important in our hand that we're worried that could be bioethics, all we have to do is put it on our um, bookmarks. So that actually is going to require a bit of uh, play. They're double icing HQ. They probably are respecting, um, what's it called? Uh, respecting, uh, sorry, like a vamp? Because vamp's really strong against anything that needs to have four credits to fire a snare. I also don't mind this Jackson Howard. Like, in theory, we want to slow them down. But if they have Jackson Howard, they're going to draw into their snares. They're going to draw into their shocks and put them in archives. If we're just trying to dig deep on R&D, that's kind of good for us. So I don't actually mind that. Uh, Gamble's okay. We have hand size currently of four. Uh, so we can, in theory, we want to put down one of these. So we can draw again. Diesel's really good. We always want to install at least a program a turn just so we get maximum value. And then I think this turn, yeah, we'll host this. Just because... We're not going to be double dipping. You generally, if you want to install a self-modifying code on your turn, install something that costs money first, just to get your Kate discount. So this turn, I think we'll pop self-modifying code for, uh, we'll pay basically two credits to pop this for Hyperdriver, remove it from the game, and then we can diesel up and then Magnum correspondingly. And they are definitely playing intelligently around Vamp, and I think that's pretty smart. So we're going to use this on their turn, so that they have, um, we get the discount. We're going to host this. I think we need to. Uh, so search and we'll pop that bad boy. We'll take our clicks. So now we're at seven clicks so we can diesel up uh, We don't have a lot of credits bookmarks really good again if we're threatening if we're feel threatened by a uh, bioethics um, Yeah, that's okay, so we if we drop once That's exactly all we need so now all we really need is money uh, It's also in our best interest, so we'll do We'll get. Do we actually don't need to play this? And this might actually be one more access, so I don't feel like in a rush to play this. But in theory, we could put down a bookmark and then host everything important underneath it. Just someone with game day, we draw even harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's actually probably good. So let's do this. This deck's actually kind of tricky to play. So we'll host. And bookmark is kind of cool against that damage. You protect stuff. So host up the three cards from your grip. So we'll host. Uh, no, we actually want self modifying code. So we'll host this, this, and this. And we'll host, oh, nope, oops, nope, misclick. 
I will host this on here. Install a program on Leprechaun. Uh, yes. Just so like we we've uh, can pull out another hyperdriver and set up even faster. So currently we have hand size 5. If we pull our hyperdriver and then just spend 14 off of the magnum opus, then we can basically game day into a huge hand. And then game day from there, we'll probably draw our next deck once we draw into our freedom and stuff like that. Not freedom. Uh, what's it called? Peace in our time. And at that point, we can close the game actually like relatively quickly. Uh, that's kind of kind of sweet. We're also going to respect like House of Knives, because once House of Knives is up, we have to leave at least one card in our hand when we combo turn off, uh, just because they can House of Knives ping us for one. And that's probably an issue, because it's lethal. Also, if they House of Knives, uh, they can hit our, uh, what's it called, our levy from our hand, so we want to put same old thing down. Yeah, our combo turn is actually going to be a bit interesting. This can be bioethics because it's iced, so I'm not actually worried about taking net damage. There's no thing that they can score that'll do net damage to us. I guess Show of Force does, but they need to advance that once. Show of Force could be lethal, but I guess if they, yeah, on the third advance, maybe we use Bookmark? I don't know. They're really respecting Vamp. That's good. Uh, okay, so we'll use this again for Hyperdriver. Pop it, take your clicks, and then just go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and now uh, game day will draw us into um, 17 fresh cards, which is more than half of our deck, which you see how this works. So one, two, three, let's see them get that House of Knives. That's a sweet, 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 sweet agenda. Um, and it'll make this much more difficult. Ooh, this one doesn't really matter much. That's great. Okay, let's game day up. All right, and this is the problem with this deck on just taking down deck. This be and I guess on in person this also happens too, but this becomes entirely unmanageable. Like, what do you how how do you possibly? I think we actually want this installed for our last click. So let's host this. Go on our power turn. We kind of want this. Um, and then here, there's nothing that much good. Quite the deck. <laughs> Quite hand management is going to get tough. So from here. What do we want on the table? We have one click left. I think we don't want to, like, we want to spend as few cards as we can to multi access as much as we can. Mm -hmm. If they're lining one pointers also, it might be hard to win, but we'll see. Um, I think Magnum is always just the answer, right? Next turn, we uh, basically freedom, Magnum, 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 and then the turn after, I think we're set to go. So we'll just Magnum up once here. So on our power turn, what do we need to get down? We need to get all three of our breakers, which we'll do through mass install. We need to get probably both Deus Exes. We need to get our Councilman, maybe, depending if they put something on R&D. Ooh, Shell Corp, cool. Um, so we need, if this is Shell Corp, by the way. Uh, so we need to get that. We need to get our same old thing down so that they can't kill us. And we, I mean, we don't lose our uh, levy. So there's a couple things that we have to do. So I'm not actually gonna pop this right now. So let's give them the credits. Huge money card. And now uh, we have hand size of 27, we have 14 in our hand, 14 plus 15 is 27, so next turn we can draw all our hand. Actually, we can do it right now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the profanity. So, one, two, three, four. So if we draw now, we draw up to hand size of 29, 14 plus 15 is exactly 29, plus this will replace itself, so. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Okay. I think we can do this. This might be possible. And the thing is, if this fails, this run fails, then we, uh... Oh, man. We're gonna totally kill ourselves to shock and stuff. This is not smart. I think we'd actually need to play, like, Net Shield, maybe, over Deus Ex. I don't know. Maybe Net Shield? Actually, the other one's probably better. The piece of hardware. Because we have a lot of money that we can afford to pay three credits to dodge everything. Like, I think I'm gonna replace Deus Ex with those. Because those actually seem a lot better. Because we have the money, right? Maybe we'll actually keep three cards in hand just to be cute. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so I don't even think we have to fire this turn. See how many clicks we have. Actually, maybe it is possible. Yeah, maybe it is possible. We'll see. So card in that server. Uh, we technically want to run before they get House of Knives because that complicates things. So yeah, okay, we'll take the clicks. So, okay, we have seven. So we need a planner turn. We definitely need this down. 100% uh, we need this down, so let's put that down. Um, okay, so we need technically all three of our breakers, which is unfortunate. If this is a, a mine, a data mine, that's also unfortunate. So we're going to mass install everything. Uh, we're going to trash our Magnum doing that. <laughs> uh, we're going to trash our Magnum Opus doing that. Uh, because right now we have only four MU open. Now we have two... We only have one MU, right? 
I know what's up. Uh, so I think we're gonna trash the Magnum. I don't think there's a way around it, but let's mass install. So what what cards do we think we need? We I guess we need all the breakers. They're probably playing Code Gates if they're playing that. Uh, so that's down. Last turn we misinstalled our pipeline, so that's down. We might be a bit short of money here actually. We should probably counter this better. Barriers unlikely. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six MU. So we're gonna fix this. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So we're legit. Uh, we have a hand size of twenty three. I think we need to go this turn. I think we do need to go. So what do we need down? In theory, all we need down from this point on is we want to play freedom. Yeah, we do want to play freedom. Where's she at? Oh, we want to take these. Yeah. So let's add all this card script. Uh, so we're gonna put our same old thing down. Okay. Can we we can probably break any piece of ice for 15, even with this piece of crap, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, so we need to play our freedom. Let's find that. So apologies, this is very difficult. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four. So we actually probably have to... Mm. Oh, this is not good. This is not great. Uh, short on MU. Short on MU. So we'll play that. Oh, yeah, we probably should play the other thing that prevents damage. Oh, we probably weren't going to run this turn. I think we should have just set up with peace in our time. Oh, man, because now we have to discard everything. I think we just have to go. We totally botched this. The execution of this is lacking. One, two, yeah. There's also learned that you should probably use Magnum. So now let's run R&D. So one, two, three, four, five, six. In theory, we want to keep that. In theory, we want to keep that. So let's see how many we can throw out and still it'd be reasonable. Like, let's keep at least three in hand. Film Critic also might be nice for this deck. So how many is that? Some? So we're accessing nine cards. That's not a lot. Kagugo. Cute. All right. Okay. Fire. Yeah, I think we should probably just moneyed up one more time this turn. Definitely. Oh, nice. Prevent? No. So they'll take our levy, no doubt. And if they arc lock down this this turn, yeah, they win. Prevent? No. What? Stop it. Stop. Pay two to trash shock. Uh, yeah. This is how we slowly die. Okay, so that did that card from deck. Corporate sales team, alright. Almost there. Hedge fund? No. Please don't die. No. Card from deck? No. That's bad. Card from deck? No. Card from deck? Future perfect? Oh, side game here. Uh, it doesn't matter what we spend. Wanting them to spend money, we'll pay zero. They'll probably pay one. We just wanted to spend money. Fuck. Card from deck. Chum. Card from deck. House and Eyes. Card from deck. Marcus Batty for one. Nope. Fuck! We could've won! <laughs> we could've won if we played one! Dang it! I think we die right here. Like, Neural, Neural? There's one in the deck. If they have double Neural, we die. If they have our clock down, we also die. Uh, good game. Came down to that side game. All right, this deck's pretty reliable, huh? Uh, all right, well, now we just have shitty breakers. Oh. I don't feel good about this anymore just needed to pay one on that side game yeah we should have paid one it would have closed the game off <laughs> okay so the thing is like we just can't beat Kagugo we just can't uh, we could run server one yeah let's just run server one like, it's unlike, if this isn't a House of Knives, they wouldn't have scored it because they wanted Dark Lockdown. So that's a chum. Uh, continue. It's all good. They can fire that. It's, like, the thing is that this is a Kogi of 5 strength. It's now just easier to break the line. Oh, that's a cute combo. So we have to break this. And we probably actually should have broke chum. So 8, 9, 10. Give us 5 back. And if we hit a field eye, we lose. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. So we now can't steal, um, that's bad. 
We can't steal a fetal. House knives. All right, cool. So we pretty that, right? So do we remember hand size of zero? That's a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. Do we remember where that uh, future perfect is? Oh, we can't. We basically get one run on R&D, and I don't remember how deep that future perfect was. Oh, they just play Neuro, we lose. Oh, no, not exactly. Oh, that's cute. Um, Two credits. Uh, No, because we have this. So they play double Neuro, we lose. We know we can't get that. Could be a House of Knives, then we can't really run anymore. Especially not R&D. Okay. What can same old thing get us? Can same old thing get us anything? Three, that's a house of knives. Oh, Philotic. <laughs> no, we can prevent this. We can prevent this. Okay. Graceful. Graceful, graceful, graceful. I'm definitely replacing those uh, with that um, other thing. Okay, so now what? We can't run R&D anymore. We probably should have installed that card. That seemed very valuable, but we didn't have MU, and all our cards actually really mattered. Uh, this is Marcus Betty or Hokusai Grid. Either way, we lose. So I think we're just going to take one, basically camp this remote. Their Neural EMP is coming up soon. I think probably now. So I think we just run HQ this turn. Hope that's not a Hokusai. Oof! Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. Okay, that could be anything. They know we can get in there. And now it's actually more affordable to break this. Like, this server isn't that great, because we break this, right? For, uh... And then we can get the five credits. Like, it's worth it. And it's not a good server against Gordian, but what can you do? So let's just run HQ. Um, they might have an agenda in here. Pop-up window, cool. All right, one strength pop-up window doesn't really matter. But they're probably running only code gates, maybe Kugugo. Probably should be running sentries, right? Oh, there you go. So luckily we only break this for one, two. Oh, okay, this is lethal. Um, pay two, they'll probably pay zero. Yeah, told you. Good game. Why do I do that? Why do I predict what they do and then bet another thing? What? What? Huh? Oh, you could have just done the net damage. That's fine. That actually works too. Well, that almost worked. Just needed to sigh. Right. We got flatlined. All right, so we're going to make some changes. We're going to change those Deus Ex to the actual proper hardware because we have the money for it. We're not going to get too greedy. Uh, yeah, it was pretty scary. I think we're going to put a film critic in here. I think we're going to definitely put net shield or whatever it's called. Quite the combo. Back to the drawing board. All right, we went zero for two. I'm convinced this will work once, and then we'll upload that video, and then this deck will be published. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. we got videos most weekday nights and live streaming Thursday, 845 Eastern. Ciao.